Good morning, I'm Jillian Griggs. Roads around Boise State were closed overnight due to flooding. The Boise Fire Department says there was a water main break near the Honors College that flooded roads near Lincoln and University. Firefighters say the water did not enter any of the buildings. Suez Water is on scene working to repair the intersection of Lincoln and University. Idaho native and former Green Bay Packer great Jerry Kramer is officially and finally in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Kramer was a Hall of Fame finalist a record 11 times and Saturday night in Canton, Ohio, in front of his friends, family and fans, he let everyone know how he feels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could uh, say thank you for the rest of the evening and not get it done. Wonderful, wonderful moment, wonderful opportunity to be here, be with a great bunch of ball players, but a really great bunch of human beings. Kramer will also be honored in Green Bay later in the fall. One of downtown Boise's most popular attractions is getting its annual makeover this week. Artists from around the country have started painting fresh murals in Freak Alley. You can swing by anytime this week to watch the artists at work. Of course, that's between 8th and 9th and Bannock and Idaho streets. Now this Saturday, the public is invited to enjoy live music in the alley and meet this year's artists. Let's get a check now of the underside forecast on this Monday with Rachel Carso. Hey, Rachel. Hey there, Jillian. Well, hopefully those artists can find some shade because later in the week we expect to return to the triple digits that heat and the haze start rebuilding today after what was really an amazing weekend with temperatures below average for the first time in quite some time. For this afternoon in Boise, we will hit 93 degrees. That is right about where we should be for this point in the month of August. For the rest of the valley, 95 expected in Ontario, 94 for Mountain Home upper 80s in the Magic Valley and then low to mid 80s in the mountains. So very warm once again across the region. As we look at that extended forecast, though, you can see this is actually the coolest day of the work week. So the haze starts returning today. We'll call it downright smoky by the end of the week as that high pressure starts amplifying once again from the south. That will bring in smoke from California back into our area. Skies stay clear beyond that, but the heat gets really intense. We're talking triple digits for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But then cooler air invades again for the weekend. It'll take us back down into the low 90s for Saturday and Sunday. For your very latest news and weather headlines, be sure to visit 6onyourside.com.